This video is the second in a three video series showing the workflow for efficiently downloading, marking and uploading a class set of assignments in Moodle 2.3 or higher. The first video showed downloading the submitted assignments in a single zip file with the grading worksheet. This video shows grading the assignments using eMarking Assistant and the third video will show zipping the marked assignments and any additional feedback files into a single zip file and uploading this to Moodle. It will also show uploading the grading worksheet into Moodle which con contains the marks and the feedback. As mentioned earlier, when Moodle downloads all of the files, it puts it into a zip folder. And I've unzipped it here. The, each of the individual assignments are given the name of the student, an identifier, and a piece of text. This part of the file name is what the student has actually submitted. When we mark the files, we must ensure that we do not change this first part of the file name, but we can put anything after that that we want. I'm going to open up the file in Word. We're looking at Word 2003 and we're going to mark the assignment in eMarking Assistant. Press F8 to show the eMarking Assistant toolbar. eMarking Assistant works in any version of Word created this century for Windows. I will look through the assignment. We're just going to put some basic comments in here. The person should have put a reference here, obviously. I will just scroll down and academic writing needs a reference here. Insert the comment. We will scroll down a bit more. Here, there, the reference is not done in the appropriate APA format. So we'll scroll down, find that comment. And again, you can see these comments can be quite large, including text, images, uh, and links. Another aspect of eMarking Assistant is the fact that it can include a marking rubric. We're just going to insert the rubric now. I'm going to insert it into the body of the assignment. So click at the bottom, we will see the rubric. I can make some general comments to the student here if I wanted to, and then I could complete the rubric. Completing the rubric is simply a matter of highlighting the cells and clicking at the appropriate button, F6. Uh, again, here's an interesting criteria. Uh, the person should have included in-text links in the literature review. They didn't, so I'm going to give them this uh, grade, a file here. And this is the part of the assignment that caught, or a part of the assignment that caused me to make that judgment. If I just press F6 again, it shows me the last rubric uh, criteria that I selected. And yes, that's the one that's relevant there. So it includes that as a margin comment. This obviously ties the margin comments to the rubric and to the, uh, uh, the mark that the person has given. Now that I have completed making the judgments in the rubric, I can press F8 and the total, the total mark will be calculated, the percentage and the weighted mark, and it will be converted back to a, uh, a grade. If I wanted to, I might decide that I don't want to include those. So I could just delete that column if I wanted to. I will include it, so I'll leave it there. So this particular student got 11.8 uh, uh, as a weighted score. I could then just save the assignment. I will go to Save As and I will actually put the mark 
in the file name and save it. I could then just close the assignment, go to the grading worksheet, open that up. This is just an example, so I'm not actually going to be putting the correct mark in. Alan Turing, and we'll give him 75 marks. I could also put some feedback, and then I will just save that. In the next assignment, we're going to show you how to upload all of those feedback files and the, uh, the grading worksheet.